So here we have Marshall Swift and Beck, otherwise known as MSB, to insurance agents. It is a highly respected cost estimator program used to determine the value of a person's house, uh, the rebuild value, that is. Uh, it's located at bsvlight.msbexpress.net slash pe. And if you have an AIUA account, more than likely you also have access to MSB. So here's how to use MSB. Type in your username and password. And to log in, you can't just press enter. You actually have to go to RCT and click that. So after it loads up, you get to see all the people that you have quoted in the past. But what you want to do is go to New Valuation so that you can start uh, evaluating a house. Let me just use mine for an example. Let's see. Okay, first thing that it asks you for is zip code. If you go down, it will say, hey, wait, you haven't put in your zip code yet. So, 36576. Now, this stuff is probably not all that important in order to get an estimation. I don't think that the place really determines the value of the uh, of the materials, but it's just for the personal profile. Now, if you do write through AIUA, all of this stuff could be filled out, and then uh, you can issue a policy on it. But if you're just doing it for cost estimating purposes, then it's probably not really necessary. Go next step. So now it's asking for the year built, say 2013. And then the uh, construction style, type standard style, it gives many, many options. Uh, ranch is a common option, but uh, more than that, what I usually choose is one story, one, one and a half story, two story, three story, things like that. If you're not sure what all of these things mean, total living area, I'll say 1714. And what that is, is that's the heating and cooled. Uh, not the open porches and all that stuff. So you'll see that later. Slab 100%. I'm going to take it down and say I have crawl space. So 100% crawl space. Next. Exterior walls. Brick on frame 100%. So you can say the percentage of it. Like if it's half brick, half frame. Minus half hardy board. Or actually full hardy board. So I'm going to go 100 on that. And you can you have a question you can always click and then it will tell you uh, tell you the definition okay next what kind of shingles do you have or what kind of roof covering do you have this would be regular three tab shingles asphalt fiberglass and then the newer kind the architectural dimensional shingles are what's more likely the newer ones in uh, 2005 and after, though you can tell the difference between the three tab and the architectural ones. Kitchen, now you have the different types of kitchens and this determines the value. You have a basic which is the cheapest, builder's grade, then custom, so you got one builder's grade and two builder's grade bathrooms in there. So if, if it's a really nice house and you're looking for a way to up the value, then you can probably put it to custom. Only if it is custom, of course. Okay, heating is electric. If it's an older house, it'll probably put this at gas automatically. Next, garages. I have a detached two-car garage, and that's not really going to add to the value of the dwelling. i got to put a one next to a two-car garage, because I only have one. But most houses are going to have the attached two-car garage. Next, attached, attached structures. Um, let's say I got a 50 square foot open deck and a wood deck, uh, 50 square foot. Let's go next. Material summary. So this is the whole summary of everything that you've just done. Uh, you can click on certain things here to, to change them. If you see this, you go, well, I know that uh, it's not 94% paint. I know that it's all paint. You can change that. Uh, or if the walls are made out of wood or stone, you do that there. Usually what, what I have to do here is go to the interior features to change the fireplace because a lot of places have fireplaces. And what I would do is I would go single or gas, or if it reaches up two stories, or if it has two openings, the double uh, 
fireplace there. But since I don't have that, uh, you can always click back to any of these parts to edit any of them. You see the exterior features doesn't have a check mark. It's because I didn't go to it. All the things that have check marks are things that I that I had to answer. Um, partitioning walls shows the different kinds of walls that you can have. Wall finish. You can have paneling, vinyl, ceiling finish. Uh, you know, have like mirrors on your ceiling, floor finish. You know, it's a nice house if it has 100% wood or marble on the ground. Uh, interior features, that would be just this thing that I had there. Detached structures, like if you have a jacuzzi, maybe even a swimming pool, something like that. And then finally, last, you want to go to reports and calculate. And you see here how it says 160. This is without debris removal, and then the 167,000 would be with the debris removal. So to in order to get this, you click download, and it will save it onto your desktop. Save and finish and close. Close valuation. And then it saves it inside of your valuations here. And go to my MSB evaluation and this is what I would submit to an underwriter if they required it it has all of my information on there the name of the person uh, has my uh, login and all um, here's the valuation of the house uh, and here's what configured these valuations that's something I don't really like about about this is it kinda tags this part on at the end most most valuations are gonna have two pages with a little thing at the end if not just this disclaimer at the very end here and that's MSB